could have talked about Kanye's Harry Tubman comments. So let's talk about this Kid Cudi shirt instead. What's going on y'all? My name is Jordan, back again like I never left. And right now I'm doing another unboxing kind of video where I'm just about to open this package of Kid Cudi's Leader of the Delinquents t-shirt. So this is like my second time doing this. And I mean, this, was, this is kind of fun to do. I didn't expect my unboxing of Kid Cudi's Swim in the Light t-shirt to get as many views as it did. So I thought that was kind of cool. So even with views aside, I mean, I still love that I have a piece of Kid Cudi merch and that's exactly the same reason I bought this. And it's always fun doing something different on my channel. What can I say? This t-shirt is collaboration with Kid Cudi and Virgil Abloh working together to make this shirt. Virgil Abloh, as we all know, the creator of Off-White, he has a pretty high position, I'm forgetting the position exactly, but has a pretty high position at Louis Vuitton and is also known as the one who donated $50 to a protest. So, of course, I've been keeping up with the memes of I'm gonna keep it two Virgils with you. And of course, also designing that really awful Pop Smoke album cover. So, it seems like he can't catch a break these past couple of months and it's only a matter of time before he does something else and it's like Virgil you gotta go but criticisms aside about Virgil and who he is and what he does and what he has said I still liked the idea of getting this t-shirt no matter what it's Cuddy and I need more Cuddy merch anyway not that this YouTube page is not a Kid Cuddy fan page but uh, it is still my channel and I do want to share this uh, this might be one of the last times I buy merch for Cuddy, at least for this year, depending if he drops an album or not. Uh, I didn't buy any of the Adventures of Moon Man Slim Shady merch because that was really expensive. I'm not paying $120 for a hoodie, but shout out to y'all if y'all did that. I will be unboxing or I guess unwrapping since it's in a different type of package, but I'm just going to do that. And yeah, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Here we go. All right, so it's in kind of like a similar packaging as the Swim in the Light hoodie was in, which I'm not going to show the other side, as y'all know, <laughs> privacy type of thing. But yeah, let me just open this. Oh, definitely going to try to hyperlapse this. Okay, so here we are. We got Scott Miscuddy on the t-shirt right there. And yeah, here it is. It says, it's a little blurry. Let me fix that. Just says, Kid Cuddy Delinquents T. As we all know, I forgot to mention this, but as we all know, this is essentially like a t-shirt based off of his single that he dropped a couple months ago. A leader of Delinquents. Oh, what's this? An invoice. <laughs> Once again, has kind of like that same type of sticker that was included on the Swim in the Light hoodie, which I always think is kind of cool because it, it just shows his brand that he's the, he's the moon man. So definitely will always like when Cuddy does that. Let me see, does this have my address on it? If it does, I'm not going to show it. Now then, let's see the final product of this. It's still in its packaging. Part of me at first was like, oh, I don't want to open it because it's kind of like a work of art. But you know what? I, it's, I bought it so I can do what I want with it and I'm definitely going to wear it. So let's get to unwrapping this. Alright. So I'm just unfolding it. And here it is. Yes, it is. Cuddy holding himself what it looks like on puppet strings. This is always going to be hella funny to me because like he's the puppet master, which I always feel like is it's not that deep, but <laughs> I guess my interpretation is he's the only one that's, you know, controlling himself. And I feel like that's kind of a cool metaphor. Only you can control what you do. Or maybe it's a character he, he kind of feels like he's positioning himself in. I don't know. Like there's so much different type of shit you could like see with this. It's so deep and so many layers to it. And maybe it's Scott controlling Cuddy like in terms of like an alter ego type of thing, but maybe that's just too deep. And yeah, so Cuddy right there and him holding himself right there, just flipping off whoever, probably saying, you know, fuck all the haters or something like that. And I don't know what type of shoes those are. I'm not 
which is a sneaker head, but those, those are some nice sneaks, I can't front. And on the back, here it is. Well, actually first, right here, uh, Kid Cudi collaboration, Virgil Abloh pulling strings, yes. And let's just flip it, and the leader of the delinquents, yes. I always go back to the song from time to time. Uh, I haven't played it too much since it's released because I don't really want to play it out for myself. And who knows when whatever album he's making, whether it's a Man on the Moon 3 or just another Scott album, Kid Cudi, whatever. Uh, I'm definitely going to play it more when the album does drop. But yeah, this is a nice t-shirt if you ask me. And yeah, definitely going to put it on just like I did with this woman in the light hoodie. Look, it fits kind of nice on me, kind of messed up my hair just a little bit trying to put it on, but yeah, I feel like I could wear this occasionally. Um, it is a white shirt, <laughs> it's a white tee, and that's kind of the downfall of it because I can't wear this all the time. Y'all have pay paid attention to my videos whenever I wear my St. Pablo t-shirt. I barely wear that t-shirt because <laughs> it is a white shirt. Uh, same with my Dragon Ball t-shirts and shirts like that. I don't like wearing white t-shirts that much because it's so easy to stain them and that's even hard enough to try to clean them, and I, I'm just better off not doing all that. So yeah, uh, not gonna wear it too much. I think best of all, the next time I do wear this t-shirt, I'll probably just wear it every now and then, yeah, but the next time I wear it, it's definitely when Cuddy will drop something, whether it's a new single or definitely an album. It's better to wear this than a Swim in the Light hoodie right now because it is, as at the time of me posting this video, summertime, so. I'm not going to try to get heat stroke while trying to react to an album, there's no way. But this is a nice tee, I definitely like that I'm wearing a long sleeve, kind of like under it because it's, I don't know, just the aesthetic itself is just better and it's, it's too bad this isn't a long sleeve because that would have been nice but hey, I mean, I can be innovative with my clothing sometimes so yeah. It's nice to have another piece of Cuddy merch and I'm really happy right now, I always feel like a kid on Christmas whenever I get, I mean, we all do when we order things from the mail and delivery and all that, like, it's always nice to me to get not only another piece of clothing, but another piece of artist merch. And y'all know this, watching my videos, I'm always wearing either a Tupac T, Jay-Z, or somebody, a Tyler the Creator. I'm always wearing like an artist t-shirt, so it's just another to the collection, and I'm a happy music fan, what can I say? That's it. How do y'all feel about this Leader of the Delinquents t-shirt? Did you order one? And how do you feel about finally getting your uh, shirt? Because it's been like at least almost two months. I was getting worried. I'm like, when am I going to get this t-shirt? But I finally got it. And hey, shout out to Scott and I guess Virgil also uh, to putting this out because it's making me a happy rager. So yeah, whatever y'all think about this t-shirt and also just this video in general, whatever thoughts y'all have, please let me know in the comment section down below. Please like the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, are the best. Look forward to what more I got coming soon. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.